Well, everyone, it seems like a huge moment, an emotional moment, our last maths video together. Well, for this special occasion, I've lined up a fabulous task for us to have a go at. But I have to say, before then, you might have noticed that in doing the videos, there's been the odd little mistake here and there. Now, there have been so many more that you haven't seen. Uh, let's have a little sneak preview in some of the things that have gone wrong in the makings of the maths videos. We are live! <laughs> <laughs> um, and taking them in, in from one step and then ways, we, sometimes we need to look at graphs. I hope I get across the idea that maths can be really enjoyable. Um, not, not, it's not quite right either. It isn't, isn't parallel to you. It, 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 it isn't uh, horizontal, sorry, I should say. It, it goes from that, that vertical line, uh, from the... Um, <laughs> that's terrible, I can't include that. I hope you're having lots of fun in the sun today. Uh, just to say, the, there's a video coming tomorrow. Oh, no, that's not it. Um, at the moment, uh, living in Japan, we would give it approximately, now it's approximately 13 million, um, which is a lot for a relatively small island. Um, no, it's not, it's 130 million. <laughs> well, <laughs> one of my very favorite things, and I would absolutely love to get the date right on the video. When you try and find all the different possible ways that answers can be questioned, that's the wrong way around. <laughs> When I multiply my numbers, I get more than 14. What could my numbers be? Is there one possible common... So this week we've learned about lots of different topics in brief. Um, no, 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 that's not what I'm going to say. 15 multiplied by 16. I can see it's the same number of 15s, but it's double the number of 8. Uh, uh, it's double the number of 15s because that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Sorry. <again. laughs> Um, but if we're doing a calculation like 19 divided by 6, um, we will... You were right in the first place, G-Man. I'm really, really looking forward to... No, don't say that. Don't. Task A or task B, and the questions are... <laughs> now, if you're successful in that skill, that really helps in looking at then fraction and decimal conversions, which are where, which do a little bit of too many mumbles. <laughs> Such a weirdo. <laughs> Don't be bad though, by the way. It's not. It's still recording. So, everyone, it feels like an epic moment as we come here to have a look at my last uh, task with you together. And I really like this one, calling it Swapping Sides. So, have a look here. I've got all on the left hand side, I've got uh, four red counters. Now, of course, you can use anything here. It could be coins, copper coins, and silver coins, or you can make any counters or anything. And of course, we've got yellow ones on this side. Now, what I've got to do is I've got to get the counters to swap over. So, those four are yellow and those four are red. Um, and without doing any jumps. So I've just got to move the counters to get all the yellow ones on this side, all the red ones on that side, in as few moves as possible. So I'll see if I can explain what I mean by that. So this is one move, one. And here is another move, two. Uh, and here's another move, three. And another move, four, and so on and so on. Um, and so I've got to keep going. I've got to think, how can I get the, um, all, the, uh, all the red ones from the left to the right and all the yellow ones from the right to the left? And it's a good idea to start off with knowing which one is on which side. So, for example, you might put like R for red so you know the red one started there and Y for yellow so you know the yellow one started there or maybe the way that you, you, you want them to go. Um, now, this is a really important passing place. Um, so just to be clear, what you can't do is you, you, you can't do a kind of, we can't do a jump like this, okay? And the other thing is if I move a counter, um, let, let's say I move it from here to there, that's still one move. So you just go in one counter um, from one place to another is one move. How few moves can it be done in, okay? So what I'd suggest is this, uh, I'm going to put them back here. Um, now the, the grid is on the blue link underneath the video. Um, just pause this video now, have a go at the game and see maybe a first attempt, just get used to the rules, count the moves, how do you get on? And then we're gonna look at some of the thinking that lies behind it in a moment. Um, so print that off, get your coins, have a go, enjoy, see how many moves you can, you can do it in. 
Well, I'm going to show you some of my thinking now, um, which I hope is helpful. Um, so I started off something like this, going one, moving that red one, two, the yellow one across. I'm thinking I want that, this red one over there. So three, I'm going to move that yellow one out of the way. Four, now I've got this red one out of the way. And, and I I'm, I'm want to do the same the, the other way around. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go five, six, seven, and then I can get this yellow one around eight. And then I got to here. Now from here, there was a couple of things I thought, what do I do next? Um, so I was thinking, should I move these ones back and get some of these ones out? Or maybe I should move some of these red ones along here and get this yellow one right up to this corner next. But what I did is I didn't want to start the game again every single time. So I've done lots of little drawings here, which was where I'm thinking, well, after four moves, I got to there. Or after eight moves, if you have a look at this one, I get to here. And so rather than kind of starting the game from the start point like this and starting again and going one, two and so on. What I actually did is I thought, right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and I'm actually going to start from this position here uh, with two reds at the top, a yellow down here and reds there and there. I think that's what it was. Let me have a look. Yeah. So this is where I get to in eight moves. And then I could compare, well, I could do 9, 10, 11, and then I'd have to go 12, 13. And I'm thinking, is that better? Or maybe, and if again, I go back to where I get to here. So, so that was when it was here, the two red ones up there, there. Or maybe I could compare that to, well, well maybe actually I'd be better at getting some of the yellow ones out. So I could go, um, let's have a think, 9... 10, what, 11, 12, maybe getting that one up, 13, 14, 15, 16, and so on. And I could think, well, which way around works better? And then when I think I've got the better way around, I could think, right, I know what to do after my eight moves, and I might draw another picture. So can you see, on this piece of paper, I've got loads of different moves kind of part way through the game, and I got to there after 20 moves, and there after 23 in a different version, and so on. So I thought what would be helpful, on the second page, on the blue link underneath the video, I've made this here. And that was just, if you wanted to record where you got to after so many moves, it just saves you drawing out the grid. Um, but anyway, let me uh, have another go uh, and see where you get to. And then I'm going to show you uh, just me doing as many, as few moves even as I can. So pause the video and just extend how you're getting on with that task there. Okay, so I'm going to have a go. I don't know if this is the fewest moves it can be done in. I just, I have done this with my class. I can't remember where we got to. I think we did decide that we found how the, the, the fewest that goes it could be done in. But I'm going to have a go. Uh, again, I'd love to hear how you've got on. So I want, the reds are starting here. I want them all to the right-hand side. The yellow's going to go across. Uh, so I'm going to count how I get on. Um, so let's have a go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. And then I, I like to get the, the yellow one up that top and I want a red one up here. So let's go. I'm going to go for nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, I have to move the yellows back, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, um, I'm going to go for 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. There, I think that was 33. 
uh, love to hear how you get on with this task. Um, and uh, hopefully it makes you really think, have lots and lots of different goes. It took me a long time. I actually think 33. I might have got a 32 or I might have miscounted, but I think 33 is about as good as I can do. Uh, so good luck with this one. Have lots of goes. Think strategically. Maybe go back, as I say. Maybe you think, oh, well, I'm, after 23 moves, I got to there. So what's the best way to finish? Uh, but really get as much from this as you can. Enjoy. So this is the last maths video that we'll all do together. Um, for the last two weeks of term, to take you right through to the end of the school year, I'm going to post an activity uh, from the um, Association of Teachers of Mathematics uh, every day. There's some wonderful ones. You're really, really going to enjoy them. Now, I absolutely love teaching. Uh, it, it's a real passion. And that I've been able to do this over the lockdown has been wonderful. And to actually see all the work and all the things that you've done with all the tasks as well. Thank you for every message, every email, every example piece of work. I have loved it genuinely and that has been wonderful. Uh, specific thank yous go to my wife for filming and piecing the videos together, for my daughter for actually doing the videos as well. She's in year three, four and it, it's been wonderful watching that. So thank you for you. And for everyone, if you've just been involved, where you've watched all the videos, you've watched one, it's been wonderful. It's been a privilege having you. Um, now, I hope what this has managed to show you is what a rich subject maths can be and how it can make you think and how it can be challenging, but we can really enjoy that challenge and building that knowledge. It, it, it's a joy to take part in. Uh, in my work, my passion will continue to be to find ways to impact you positively and all other children in their primary master work. And it's a job that I love. Thank you very much and have an amazing holiday.